Hi, I'm Judy. Welcome to Go With Yin Yoga. I have a quick yin yoga flow to welcome summer for you today. And while we're going through just a few poses, I'll also let you know what's coming up in June. And I'm really excited to share everything I have to offer you in June. So to begin with, come to an easy seated position. Go ahead and inhale your shoulders up, down, and back. Just rolling those shoulders, getting a little tension out. And then up, forward, and back. Up, forward, and back. And come to stillness. Close your eyes if that feels good for you. Let your forehead smooth out. Let your jaw relax. Feel your shoulders melt down towards your back. Let everything that's gone before you got on your mat go. Let it all just disappear into the earth. Begin to breathe in and out through your nose. Maybe breathing in through your nose, out through your mouth to begin with. In through the nose, out through the mouth. Sigh it all the way last time. Now go ahead and take your right chin, bring it parallel to the long end of your mat. And then take your left shin, also parallel to the long end of your mat, but coming out from your hip, just like that. And you are in deer pose. So today we're just concentrating on deer pose. That's it. But we're doing several variations, and we end with a nice restorative style deer pose. It's not actually restorative. In restorative, you'd be holding it for like 10 minutes, and we're not doing that today. I don't think so anyway. So today, physically, you are going to be strengthening your hips, your quads, your knees. Most of us need this, especially as we get older. And we are also connecting with our liver meridian, which is the energy associated with spring. And when that's in balance, we find it easier to forgive. And maybe we get a little creative. And we are also connecting with the energy of the spleen. And the spleen is directly connected to digestion, and that means your physical digestion. It's also connected to digesting your thoughts and your emotions. Let's continue to take just a few more breaths here. Maybe closing your eyes, letting those shoulders relax. And then turn towards the right getting a little twist in your deer pose, looking out towards the right. Take a few breaths here. If this seems like enough for you today, stay right here. And if you feel like you maybe want to go a little deeper, you can just come on down to your elbows. This is a pretty st strong twist, so be careful with your back. You know your body best.
Last couple of breaths here. And push into your palms. Slightly straighten your arms. Walk them back towards your torso. And bring both feet out in front of you, taking your legs wide apart. And lift your legs fall to one side. And the other. When we are still in yin yoga poses, blood tends to become very stagnant. And that's that feeling we get where there's a lot of sensation and sometimes a little bit movement after we've been still for a while feels very nice. And let's come to the second side. If you see me swatting at something here, it's most likely some ants. There's one coming near me right now. So this time take your left shin parallel to the long end of your mat. And the right shin comes out from that right hip. Knee is bent, and your right shin is, or rather your right thigh comes out from your hip. Your right shin is parallel to the short end of the mat. And this is deer pose on the second side. So the first practice I have for you in June that is releasing this week, as a matter of fact, is a yin yoga practice at the wall. If you followed me for a while, you know I love practicing yin yoga at the wall. And that one's going to help strengthen your hips and your quads. And we'll be using the wall as a prop. And I will most likely give you options if you don't have a wall available to you, because sometimes we don't. And I'm actually really excited about that second practice. And that is one to accept changes. And we're getting, much like this practice, we're just going to be doing variations of one pose, but it'll be a longer practice. And that one's going to help strengthen our knees and our hips. And go ahead and turn towards your left, staying upright to begin with. The reason I'm so excited about the one, the practice about accepting changes is because I will be very honest with you. My body looks really different than it did about four years ago. I didn't really change my eating. I still exercise. I am five years into postmenopausal being postmenopausal. I think that has something to do with it. I think stress actually has something to do with it as well and I'm trying really hard to accept those changes because I worked really hard to lose weight and I kept it off for a really long time so it's frustrating and if you'd like to go deeper come up go ahead and come on down to your forearms really deepening that twist giving your digestion a little boost Make sure that you haven't gone so deeply into this pose that you can't relax into it. If you're clutching the mat because it feels so hard for you, then you've probably gone too deeply into this pose. And you'd be better served by backing off a little bit. If your breath is really choppy, same thing. You can expect, if you've come down with me, you can expect to find your breathing a little more difficult because you are compressing your diaphragm where you breathe but that also gives us all those internal organs a nice little massage it's true a couple more breaths here
and push into the palms of your hands. Begin to straighten your arms. Slowly walk your arms back to your body. Go ahead and take your feet and let them fall to one side and then the other. And we're going to move into our last deer pose, a more restorative version of deer pose because you you can see my setup right back here i have a couple blocks you can see how this one's on the tallest setting that one's on the lowest setting sometimes you have to play around with this um, these are cork blocks so they're very firm and they're very stable if all you have is foam blocks you can still use them but you may find you may have to play around with it a little bit so i'm actually going to move that over to the mat Let's see if I can get myself mostly out of the sun. So you can see again how I'm setting up these blocks. This one's on the lowest height, but it's pretty big. It's a cork block and it's about centered on the one furthest away. And my bolster goes over that. You could also do this, bring that in a little bit. You can do this with just a bolster just on your mat. So go ahead and take your right hip to your bolster and come into deer pose again. So your left thigh is coming straight out from that left hip. Knee is bent and the left shin is parallel to the short end of the mat. And just turn towards your bolster. I always have to be careful of that mic and relax on the bolster. This should feel pretty good. Now our third practice is a very grounding practice for moving from one season spring into another summer. And I also talk in there about individualizing your practice. And you'll have to stick around for that one to see what I mean. That practice is going to strengthen your hips, your psoas, and your quads. And the final practice in June is going to be welcoming in summer. I'm really excited to share that with you. I just finished filming that and it is a wonderfully heart-opening practice. I felt so spacious and so open after filming that for you. And it's going to help decrease muscle tension, specifically in your upper back and your neck and shoulders. And you will have to wait until the very end of June for that one, but I, I really hope you enjoy it as much as I enjoyed creating it and filming it for you. Really allow yourself to just let go into the bolster or cushion or pillow or blankets, whatever you have yourself propped up on. Let yourself just sink right in. Feel very safe and very supported. Like you have no troubles in this world. Last couple of breaths. And then begin to press your palms into the mat, slowly extending your arms. And you can just switch which hip is against your bolster. 
So in this case, you'd be taking your left hip to the bolster. I'm going to turn right around. Otherwise, I'm not facing you guys. And it's a little harder to see what I'm doing. Once again, one block on the highest height, one block on the lowest, centered on the higher block. Bolster drapes over both. The opposite hip, in my case, it's the left hip, comes to the bolster. Left shin is parallel to the long end of the mat. Right thigh comes out from your right hip. And right shin is parallel to the short end of the mat. And if that's not your second side, just make sure you do the opposite side that you did the first time. And again, just allow yourself to really relax into whatever you're using for a prop. If you're able to practice outside and it's summer, I hope that it's warm and you are able to take in that prana from nature, from the sun, from the air. All your muscles soften, completely let go of everything. The last couple of breaths here. Once again, press into your palms. Begin to extend your arms. I'm going to invite you to turn and lay back on your bolster. You may want a blanket under your head. And if you don't have that, that's no worries. But it can help you if you tuck your chin just a little bit. And just move into what they call constructive rest. So it's a, a propped up version of Shavasana. I'm going to invite you to move into this pose and stay for as long as you need. For those of you who don't have time for Shavasana, I always think you should end a yoga practice with Shavasana, but I understand it. I get it. We just don't always have that time. You can just come up and just take a few deep breaths in an easy seated position. Invitation to close your eyes if that's comfortable for you. And once again, relax your forehead. Allow your jaw to soften. Feel your shoulders fall away from your ears. And just notice what may have changed for you, even in this very short practice. So we blink your eyes open. Thank you so much for joining me today. If you enjoyed this video, please go ahead and click the like button. If you'd like to practice with me again, go ahead and click subscribe and the bell. If you're interested in learning more about yin yoga and other forms of yoga and whatever else might enter my mind you never know what that might be i have a private facebook group and the invitation to enjoy that and to join that group and enjoy the group is below and i really hope to see you in the group if not have a wonderful summer and thank you so much for joining me